Our Lady of Manavok is the title of the Blessed Virgin Mary venerated in Manavok, which was a town in Pangasinan, Philippines. Under this title, our mother is invoked as patroness of the sick, helpless and needy. The Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manavok is a miraculous church with a 400-year-long history of renowned miracles and pious events and is also one of the most visited churches in the Philippines. It is situated on the top of the hill of the small town of Manavok in the province of Pangasinan. This is where the miraculous image of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manavok is enshrined. According to recorded history, the Augustinians came to Pangasinan in the year 1575 and established the missions of Lingayan, Bagotan and Santa Monica as part of their evangelization efforts. Because the Pangasinenses preferred to believe in paganism and refused to accept Christianity, the missionaries decided to leave. But this was just the start of the evangelization in the province. In fact, there were also other undocumented missionaries which ministered to Pangasinenses. In addition, the Franciscans also made an effort to spread the gospel across the region. However, their efforts were in vain since they were unable to convert the people. Then came the Dominicans. Dominican missionaries built a mission at Binaltongan in the year 1587. This was built under the patronage of their founder, St. Dominic de Guzman. There was a town named Mangaldan, which is 9 km from Santa Monica, which was called a visita for the Augustinian monastery of Lingayen. It is also the place where the Dominicans began their missionary work. Because Lingayen was 30 km from the Augustinian convent of Santa Monica, the Augustinians gave the care of the chapel of Santa Monica to the care of Bishop Diego de Soria, who then gave it to Father Juan de San Jacinto, a Dominican. This happened in the year 1605. After the chapel coming under his care, Father de San Jacinto thought of building a chapel dedicated to Our Lady of the Rosary. In the year 1610, a middle-aged farmer was walking on a road to home. Suddenly, he heard a beautiful soft voice of a woman calling him by name. He turned and saw a beautiful radiant mother holding her son in left arm and holding a rosary in her right hand. The lady was standing upon a cloud and the cloud was resting upon a tree. The farmer then prostrated himself on the ground. Then the beautiful mother told him that she wants a church to be built here in the parish site and so her children will receive many favors in this place. When the villagers heard of the apparition, the news got spread quickly and the people soon built a small chapel on the place of the apparition. Then a town soon began to form around the chapel. Later, a beautiful Spanish statue of Our Lady of the Rosary was brought by Father Juan de San Jacinto from Mexico and was placed in the chapel. The statue was made of ivory. It is after this apparition of Our Lady, the name of the town Santa Monica changed to Manavog, which means she calls. Later, a large wooden church was built beside the chapel of Santa Monica in Balaquin River. When the new church was completed and ready to transfer the image, mysteriously, the church went missing. They could not find any trace of the church on the site. Then the people agreed that Our Lady did not want her throne at any other place except the apparition site. Then began the construction of a new big church in the year 1701. Later, an expansion of the church began in the year 1882 but was disturbed by an earthquake in the year 1892. Later, the church and its treasures was destroyed by fire lighted by the revolutionaries in May 1898. However, the miraculous image of the Virgin of Manavok was completely safe and was found behind the church. The next few months, the statue was kept in Dagupan for safety. Father Mariano Passes, a diocesan parish priest of Manavok, invited the Dominicans, and the Dominicans returned in the year 1901. Finally, the church was completed through the years on the year 1932. Pope Pius XI granted a canonical coronation to the image on August 25 in the year 1925. The image was canonically crowned on April 26 in the year 1926. On April 21, 2011, the church was affiliated with a special bond of spiritual affinity with the Basilica of St. Mary Major in Rome. This bond assures pilgrims of Manavok the same blessings and the chance to obtain plenary indulgence as they would when they visit a papal basilica in Rome. On February 17 in the year 2015, the shrine was elevated to a minor basilica. Today, countless pilgrims flock to see Our Lady of the Rosary of Manavok to receive the love and blessings of our mother. Thank you so much for watching.